a real estate service you can count on, call the Dan Jemis Real Estate Team. For real estate advice you can trust, you listen to the Dan Jemis Real Estate Show, a paid program on AM800. Here's your host, Dan Jemis. Welcome back to the show. We on the Dan Jemis team wanted to start this segment a few months back in order to feature other local businesses throughout Windsor and Essex County. Uh, and it's the Featured Business of the Week segment. It's brought to you by Doobies Home Center. Located at 269 Ramsey Street in Amherstburg, Doobies is Windsor and Essex County's flooring, paint, and window covering store. Do you need a couple extra gallons of primer? Doobies will actually deliver your paint anywhere throughout Windsor and Essex County at no extra charge. Visit doobies.ca or call the store at 519-736-4021 to book your delivery or home consultation today. So, so our guest today, uh, we're very excited about them, is Organics live mm-hmm. and uh we have donna and keith rivard the owners uh here locally how are you guys good very good good, yeah. thank good you. to have Welcome. you both in studio with us today thank you very much for inviting us so uh tell us about organics live what exactly is it organics live is a 100 percent certified organic grocery delivery service what we do is we just deliver boxes of fresh organic produce to your door free of charge um currently we're delivering every tuesday between 4 and 9 p.m Fantastic. And the whole box is free? <laughs> well, the box, no. the, the delivery is yeah. free. The, the delivery is free. free. Yes. That's right. <laughs> but good really question. cool. That would be awesome. I have a hard time keeping up, I think. Um, so how, how does the program work? So do people go to uh, your website? Uh, how do they find, you know, what, yes. what they're looking for? Yes, they go to organicslive.com, Dan. Okay. And they can actually go on and customize their box on Fridays between... Friday night at 6 o'clock up to 10 o'clock on Sunday evening. You can actually go online. Uh, that's the point we know exactly what's going to be delivered from our, our local uh, organ- organic farmers in okay. the area. And they can actually customize uh, their box at that time. For example, a lot of people don't particularly like kale. Uh, they can augment the kale with additional lettuce. Um, some families would prefer more apples rather than oranges, and they can customize and say that, they would like to have more apples rather than the oranges. Initially, when you set up, you can actually uh, tell Organics Live that you don't want uh, one particular product at any time in your box. So in your initial oh. registration date, you can tell them uh, that you want certain items eliminated from yeah. Yeah, yeah. from the box. Oh. Interesting. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wow. So I'm seeing here, you brought a couple of things for us in studio here today. So I'm looking at your packages. So you have, looks like, uh, you know, a small, regular, large uh, a fruit box, um, and they feed anywhere from one to two people to, you know, four to six people. You brought one of the boxes that um, are delivered, so we can see the size of the box. It's a good size box. It's kind really. of like a file folder box, yeah. right? If you're... Yeah. 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 That's exactly it. It's, uh, it's um, a cardboard box that we actually can recycle. So we want... We have a lot mm-hmm. of customers that actually, once they get their box, they want to know, well, what do we do with it after? Yeah. We, we actually can pick them up the next week and, and take them back for sure. Um, but yes, they are. They all come... All the sizes come in the same box. Okay. The small box feeds one to two people, usually has 10 plus uh, fruits and vegetables in it. Our regular box feeds two to four people yep. there's about 12 plus items in that one and the large box is four to six people with 14 plus okay interesting um so you so they'll, they'll be delivered on tuesdays you you, you were telling me correct, correct. tuesdays uh, tuesday afternoons yeah, 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. We like to um, do it when we think people were going to yes. be home after yep. work, so your box isn't sitting outside or, mm-hmm. of course, in the elements of the weather. Um, if you aren't going to be home, though, uh, we do. Uh, there's a special instructions that you can let us know where you would like us to leave right. it. If there's idea. a certain spot on your porch or garage you know or garage around mm-hmm. your neighbor. back deck, neighbor, neighbor. Yep. Yeah, I don't know if I'd leave it with the neighbor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's a delivery's chance you looking might a little take. sketchy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> can, can someone pick up a box if they wanted to or does it must it be delivered um we could make um arrangements for it to be because it is actually delivered to um to a one location yes. um but we do offer that delivery um free of charge so um most of all, all of our current cli- uh, customer base do have them delivered right to either their homes or even their works. Oh, okay. We do deliver to a couple workspaces, actually. Now, um, tell us about, because I know people have known we, that we're having on the show today, and they've been asking me questions to ask you. One of them is, um, are the fruits and vegetables local? 
Are they from Ontario? Are they from, you know, from Canada? Are yeah. they from Windsor, Essex? Where are they from? Well, that's a good question, and yes. we do get that a lot. Um, we try to find as many local vendors or customers as possible. Yes. Vendors, uh, yep. specifically farmers. Um, we do... They do have to be 100% certified organic farmers. So we are a little limited to what is right in the Windsor Essex County base. Okay. Um, so we do go right across to Ontario. Okay. And of course, for a lot of our fruits currently, um, avocados and bananas, of course, we can't get those in mm -hmm. in um, Ontario. So we are having to go outside. But they still have to follow the same organic um, certification. certification. <clears throat> so let's, let's talk about that. So you mentioned 100% organic. Correct. So there are different, uh, that leads me, leads me to believe that there's different levels of organic. Is that is that the case? What certifies something 100% versus just Good question. There, there's actually, um, it, it was regulation that was just uh, introduced in British Columbia actually in um, 2014. It was called Bill 11, um, where they have a third party um, certify farmers. And what certification is involved in a number of different things. And, and I guess the analogy that you can use to get your certification as a, a organic farmer, um, similar to a company getting an ISO certification yep. or a uh, building getting a LEED certification, there's a number of process that should, processes that you have to go through in order to get that certification. And in British Columbia, they've done that now with organic uh, farmers. Um, so, our company looks for these types of farmers that have had that certification. Uh, soil testing's done, proximity to other farms that, that are still using pesticides and GMOs. Um, so that comes into play as well, Dan. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it's, it's just um, a process that the, uh, the farmer has to go through. It takes a little bit of time to get the certification. We're always looking for more farmers that are going through the certification. Um, and it's not to eliminate the, the, the local produce that's grown here in Essex County, which is fabulous. As we all know, our agriculture business in, the, in our area here has, yeah. has been great yeah. for years. It's just a matter of choice that people um, are wanting to eat clean. Yes. Um, and we call it organic food, and really it should be just called food because we're not introducing any man-made synthetics into any of our products that we deliver to the home. You know, one of the things you mentioned when you sat down today uh, was that you, uh, as the owners here locally, don't even touch the produce. It comes in the box. Yeah. Uh, and, and tell me that the, the, the that's fact a great you're point. Me. One yeah. one of the statistics that um, we've been made, made aware of is that the produce uh, that's delivered to your local grocery stores is handled 22 times, um, and the shelf life can last anywhere from four to seven days. The Organics Live product that we deliver is literally dropped off at a terminal Tuesday morning, early, early Tuesday morning, fresh out of the farmer's fields, boxed up and delivered and on your front porch by 4 to 8 o'clock that same day. Isn't that something? Wow. 22 times. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Here we, here we go. I know. Yeah. I know. Well, once you think of the, sure. you know, once it's actually picked from the farmer and all of the, yep. the locations, the lots, the drivers oh, um, yeah. to actually yeah. get it, um, it is a big process, I'm sure. Does Organic Slide do anything besides fruits and vegetables or is that their focus? Currently, we're um, we're launching uh, what's called Marketplace. Uh, we're hoping it's going to be up, uh, you know, sometime in the very near future, mm -hmm. where we're actually going to be offering coffee and grains. Okay. Um, Long-term goals is to get meat and dairy as well, mm -hmm. so it's kind of like a one-time shop. But because of the transport um, transportation of the um, of the goods actually to the doors, we've got to make sure we have all that in place, um, in place sure. first before we can uh, yeah. we can go that way. But the grain. Um, and coffee that should be coming very very soon. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you brought along with you um, some some packing slips so I can see you know some contents, uh, some examples of some contents. So one box here, uh, five apples, six pears, uh, a banana bunch, uh, five oranges. Uh, oh, there's different types of oranges. I see. Uh, five pears, watermelons, avocados, kiwi. So that was, this was obviously a, a fruit, fruit uh, a fruit box. Mm -hmm. uh, another box here: cucumber, field harvest, avocados, carrots, three oranges, kale, lettuce, uh, red leaf lettuce, onions, uh, yellow onions, one a uh, banana bunch, four pears, mushrooms, uh, cilantro. So like, I mean, that's you know, 
Well, you've got a your whole dinner box. in a box. You just open up your oil and vinegar and it will there shake it up and away you go. Shake it, it up. Does, yeah. Which is, you know, <laughs> that, that's very fascinating. And if someone wants information, where can they, where can they uh, find more? Um, well, again, we, they can go to www.organicslive.com. Mm-hmm. You just put in your postal code right at the very beginning to let you know or to find out whether or not we're in your uh, area. Okay. And we are delivering right through um, all of Windsor and Essex County right at this point. Yeah. So they wouldn't have any problems putting in a postal code. And then they can go on and, and get any information they like. They can see the different size of boxes. There's a frequently asked questions. Um, they can actually email Keith or I directly themselves if they would like to uh, do that. Yeah, that's fantastic. Perfect. Yeah, mm-hmm. We're on Facebook. They can Google Organics Live Windsor and uh, look us up on Facebook. Up. We put quite mm-hmm. a bit of information on there as well. How exciting. Well, mm-hmm. listen, thank you both for coming in today. We are super excited uh, for this product. I know I'll be looking into it further myself. Absolutely. Uh, it's so exciting for kids, too. They just love yes. to be a part of that. Oh, yeah. I, I would imagine when a box comes to someone's house, mm-hmm. the kids are probably all over it, I would think. Right. Yeah, we do get that. We get that excitement when they uh, when we come to the door. The kids are uh, are there waiting. And um, what I love is once the kids open the box and they can actually name the vegetables inside. Oh. Oh, right. Mom, look at the kale, or you know, or they're reaching for an apple, sure. and they're they feel the parents feel good about actually being able to let them actually grab that out and take a bite. Well, thank you both for coming today. We appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. Thanks, guys. That's our Featured Business of the Week segment brought to you by Doobie's Home Center. If you know of a business that should be featured, let us know. Our information is on our website, dangemis.com. See you soon. We'll come right back with uh, some stats. Okay, lots of stats. Here we go.